Here I have a truss from the iStruct structural behaviour course. And the question is, this simple truss structure consists of two timber struts, which are AC and BC, each 5 metres long and 100 by 100 millimetres squared, these two here. Placed at 45 degrees, pinned at the apex and tied together using a cable here. Using any approach, find the displacement down at this apex. Let's draw this out. So we have a situation like this, where when we load the structure, this, this, this structure will move slightly like that. This is obviously exaggerated, but there will be a difference in the height here when you load it. So using whatever method we want, we need to find that distance there. So some people might try to resolve uh, forces, some people might choose to tr work with elastic extension. I'm going to use energy. Energy is by far the easiest way, I think, in this kind of situation, because we know that uh, external work done must equal the internal strain energy. External work done equals internal strain energy. Okay, so we've got three things, uh, two of which are going to compress those struts and one will extend, which is the uh, that cable. Okay, so let's Let's draw this. So we've got 45 degrees like this. And this is 5 meters. That's 5 meters. Okay, so we know that um, that being 45 degrees, this dimension there is going to be, uh, well, we can work this out. Let's rotate this slightly. 5, 5. So 5 squared plus 5 squared is equal to, let's call this length um, x, x squared. So 50, root 50 is equal to x. Obviously the positive root. So what will that be? That'll be 7 point something. Square root of 50 is equal to 7.071 meters is equal to x. We have to be very, very careful with the units in this question. Okay, so let's find the com let's find the forces within this structure. We know that we've got um, fifty kilonewtons coming down. Therefore, if I look at um, The left hand side got 25 kilonewtons in reaction. That is 45 degrees. So that compressive force, uh, let's call it FC, and this will be FT. FT, uh, FC, uh, sine 45 degrees equal to 25 kilonewtons yeah so FC is equal to 25 times square root of 2 which is equal to 25 times square root of 2 35.36 kilonewtons okay by symmetry uh, this one here will also be 35.36 kilonewtons. 35.36 kilonewtons. And FT, well, we know that um, by resolving uh, horizontally, FC uh, cos 45 degrees is equal to FT. Well, we know sine, sine 45 and cos 45 are the same thing, so FT is equal to 25 kilonewtons. 
Okay. Right. Now, what's the work done on this structure? If I load, let's say, half of the amount of P, let's draw, let's draw a graph. So this will be um, the, f uh, the force. This will be displacement. I hope it's obvious, like, this goes up in a straight line. So you load half of the amount of P, uh, half the amount of P here. Delta is going to be half the value here. And if I load the full amount P here, then that value there is going to be this delta here. Okay, so the work done is the area under this graph. So work done is equal to half times P times delta. We know the value of P already. Uh, we need to keep the units very consistent, and because we're talking in energy, best to use SI units for all of this, so newtons, meters, etc. So work done is equal to 50,000 newtons times a half times delta. Okay, now the difficult part is the internal strain energy. Well, strain energy works in a similar sense, like if you um, if you have a beam and you load it a certain amount, and that has a cross section of um, A, okay, that extension there, um, the force diagram will also look like this. So similarly, half times F times X is equal to the strain energy. Okay. What L we know is given to us, it's five meters, and we've just calculated the length of the steel tie. And we have got the value of the Young's modulus for steel and timber. We've got the area of the steel cable. And we've got the area of the timber struts there. That's all the information we need. So um, the underlying equation for everything is the Young's modulus is equal to the force applied times the original length divided by area times the extension. Okay, so if I rearrange that, I've got X is equal to F L over E A. So then if we plug this into that X there, we get uh, energy, which I'm going to call U, is equal to half times F times another F L E A. I substituted that X into the equation there, which is the same as F squared L over 2 E A. Okay, that's a very, very important one there. I'm going to highlight that. So we've got all the information we need to work this out. Actually, let me um, let me move to a new page. So I said u is equal to f squared l over two e a. Work done. W is equal to half times f. Well, sorry, p times delta p. Is P being 50,000 newtons. Okay, so 
let's uh, let's work this out. So you you in each timber strut was thirty five point three six was the force here. Thirty five three six zero newtons. Keep everything in SI units squared times L, which was five meters over two times what was the Young's modulus of the timber? It was ten gigapascals. Yeah, sorry for that blocky resolution. So gigapascal, so ten times ten to the nine. That's the E value there. Uh, that's Pascal's times and the section area was 100 by 100 millimeters squared so convert that into meters 0 0.1 times 0 0.1 meters squared good um, let's plug in the values 35360 squared times 5 divided by 2 divided by 10 to the power of 9 divided by 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1 so in each timber strut the strain energy is 31.26 joules don't forget we've got two of these two struts so uh, u timber total Sigma U timber is equal to 62.52 joules. Right, now we need the steel cable. U steel is equal to, now we know that the uh, force was 25 kilonewtons squared times it was 7 point something. 7.0171 meters times 7.071 meters divided by 2 times steel was 200 gigapascals so that's in pascals now times and it was 100 millimeters squared so millimeter squared to convert that into meter squared we times that by 10 to the minus 6 okay now let's plug these into my calculator 25,000 squared times 0 0.071 divided by 2 divided by 200 times 10 to the power of 9 divided by 100 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6 so U steel is equal to 110.48 joules. So the total strain energy is equal to uh, 62.52 joules plus Actually, let me just remove the J there. One one zero point four eight joules is equal to one seven three joules. Good, nearly there. Work done is equal to. We've got the equation up here half times 50,000 times delta so we know we know it's 25,000 delta joules so and we know this is equal to the internal strain energy so 173 joules so delta is equal to 173 divided by 25 times 10 to the 3 delta is equal to 
0.92 or delta that's meters is equal to 6.92 millimeters. That is our final answer.